Hello everyone, this is Suzanne and God Crochet and Chatter. Welcome back. Let's get right to our studies today. Today we read Psalms chapters 1 through 4, tomorrow chapters 5 through 6. And all that information is in the drop down box below for you. Alright, a lot of numbering going on in numbers, right? A lot of rich lessons too. Now, they took a numbering of the people that were to go to war. And I got to thinking, are you willing to go to war for what you believe in? Physical? Mentally? Spiritually? Wow, that's a lot to think about. We need to be on guard because we are fighting against principalities, not of this world. There's a heavenly warfare going on. And, of course, with everything going on today. Can you believe it? Satan sneakers. Nike is putting out Satan sneakers. I, it's sad. I, I don't know what to say to that sometimes. I keep thinking I can't be shocked at anything else that's going to happen. But, wow, I'm always shocked at the flagrant disregard for God. Oh, my goodness. All these things that they're doing are so anti-God. We must not buy into it. We must not follow it. We have to keep mentally alert, mentally fit. We have to be physically fit and spiritually fit for God's kingdom. It's a warfare going out there, and we're fighting it every single day. Now, let's get to how God delegated the work to everybody okay God's a God of order and he delegated certain people to do certain things and gave instructions and that's what we should be doing in our lives too we should be delegating things out to other people and making sure we don't carry that load by ourselves now in our home uh, my husband is so sweet he does the dishes, he'll make my tea in the morning, he always makes my breakfast in the morning for me, and he really is a big help around the house, and if I had all that on me, and I wasn't able to delegate some of that out, wow, it'd be hard, I'd be really tired at the end of the day, so we need to make sure that we delegate whenever we can. Because that produces order in our lives and structure. And it makes it much more pleasant to go about our daily lives when we do that. Now, there was a highly organized structure for the maintenance of Israel's religious life. Very important. And we know there are many unschooled people in the word, uneducated in sound theology. And it's amazing, isn't it? I mean, in today's age, when things are so easily to be studied out to the, their truth or their untruths, wow. Now, I want to talk about the redemptive money. I found that to be very interesting. The redemption money tip, tipify, typified the fact that, tip, I'm sorry, I can't read my own writing here. The redemption money typified the fact that redemption is costly. Redemption is costly. Christ is a suitable sacrifice for all his people. I'm going to read in Psalms 49, 6, and 8. Those who trust in their wealth and boast in the multitude of their riches, none of them can by any means redeem his brother, nor give to God a ransom for him. For the redemption of their soul is costly. And we know what that cost was. The once, the one time final cost for our sin was Jesus Christ going to the cross. And as we're getting through this week, Holy Week, where it's leading up to Christ's death. And then on Sunday, his glorious resurrection. Yeah, indeed, it was a very, very high cost. A once for all cost for us. Isn't that wonderful? No more sacrifices. No more collecting money and, and, and giving that as a sacrifice. You know, none of that. We are now 
redeemed by the blood of Jesus Christ. Oh, that is so great. I'm going to read something here now. This lamb was taken, this lamb has taken my place. His life was given instead of mine. But because of this, I can look upon God's face in a heavenly land ever so sublime. What a cost, what a price indeed, that God would pay the lamb shed blood. O oh God, from the foundation of the earth it was decreed that I would be a part of the cleansing flood redeemed. Saved and on the heavenly highway, where that lamb I shall finally see, through his, the, through his death my pardon he did pay, and through the resurrection there is joy eternally. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, as we continue to read through Numbers, I'm sure we're going to come across many interesting facts and things to study on. It is a wonderful book. A lot of people think, oh man, it's all this numbering, but there was a reason for it, you know? There was a definite reason. God has a plan for everything. So yeah, I think that's great, don't you? All right, everyone, that's the devotion for today. Now, I want to remind you that we are having a giveaway coming up on April 1st, in a few days here. I will be drawing a name for that beautiful I'll love you back there on my shelf, right there. So if you haven't got in on that giveaway, I put the link in the drop-down box below. Just scroll all the way to the bottom, and the link is there to click, click on. Go to that giveaway and leave a comment. You must be subscribed. Hit that like button and get in on the drawing. Yeah, it's going to be great. And we're also having the butterfly giveaway coming up. Now that's going to last through up till April 17th. And then my husband, over on his channel, he has a giveaway of the horse, the white horse. So, yeah, um, my husband just did a video, and I mistakenly posted it to my group. Well, anyway, listen to it, and on that video, there's a link below to his giveaway. So, you want to make sure you get in on all these wonderful giveaways. We don't want to leave anybody out. All right, everyone, this is Suzanne and God Crochet and Chatter. May the good Lord bless and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace, my dear, dear friends. All right, everyone, Lord willing, I will see you tomorrow on God Crochet and Chatter. Have a blessed night, a blessed day, whatever the time zone is. You go out and make it great. Bye, everyone.